I'm dedicating this entire video to is our new testing tool that lets us emulate any boss pull in real time as if it's happening right now. And this is that tool. It's kind of ugly right now. Like I said, it's still very development oriented. It's not user front end friendly yet. This is right now being used to test the mods. Like after I write them, or I do the analysis and I write the mod. And I use the tools that I show in the video, the language server, etc., to look for errors and correct it. And then finally, I run the mod through this, and this will make sure the mod actually is perfect. And if it's not, this actually has tools built in to actually catch errors as well. And I've got over 200 minutes of boss pulls just for the new raid in here. As you can see, various difficulties, you know, heroic, mythic, etc., etc. Anyway, you can see here, we got a feature where we can set a time warp speed. Fastest is literally just goes as fast as uh, your frame rate allows, which I cap at 60, so it's pretty much going to cap at 60 times. If I actually uncap my frame rate, it would go even faster. Because if you don't know, the add on, the add -on stack, you know, the, the UI code runs on the graphics uh, rendering thread. So your frame, your frame cap is the update speed cap of add-ons. Anyways, I'm going to run a first boss mod. Let's see. Yeah, Ultrax. Heroic. I could do a wipe or a kill. Let's kill the first boss at one time. Watch your step. That ding? I found a bug. Help Soak. Found another bug. Watch your step. Another bug. Interesting. It might, it might be one of those cases. I actually think this is an outdated log. So some of the timers changed. But I'll of course double check them later. Watch your step. I guess I chose kind of a boring boss. It is the first boss. Watch your step. Kill ads. Charging, move. Charging. Move. He's in the intermission phase where he's charging around. Charging. Move. Charging. Move. Charging. Move. He's back to his normal phase or should be getting to it. Watch your step. All right, he's doing the hungering part. Watch your step. And back to phase one. 
Now I played it one time, so I was playing it in real time, so that actually takes a full like four minutes to go through. In any case, I'm gonna stop the test. I usually don't run the test that slow because that's actually kind of annoying. I usually run them at like 4x to where I could literally just zoom through a boss. But let's just go to max speed and run all tests for Palace. I should have given a seizure warning. I'm sorry. Now mind you, this was capped at uh, 60 FPS. 28 tests completed in 25 seconds. Test results. Some passed, several failed. And the ones that failed, I can do a show diff. And it starts telling me, like, what's wrong with it. It won't show it all. I gotta hit Command or Control C or Command C, copy it to the clipboard, paste it in a text file to read the report, and it'll tell me what's wrong with the mod. That's like seriously powerful test analysis tool right there. I don't actually have to painfully uh, watch the fight in slow motion. I can literally just go max speed and generate reports and do it that way. But I'm old school, I go to like 4x, where I can watch it in real time. Let's see. Normal kill, Rashan. Here's Rashan at 4x speed. Forest maximum speed you can do. With sound. If you put it anything higher than 4, all sound is disabled because at that point it's like, yeah, we don't want to sound like a machine gun going off. This boss has more mechanics at least. This is actually a boss where most of his mechanics are private auras. Pretty long boss. This is a 4x. And boss just died. A 6 minute 20 second pull. Done at 4x. And one thing that's cool about this feature is it actually fires all callbacks. If you want to test weak auras that use like timer start or announce start, you can literally test them using this tech. You could fake pull the boss with DBM and be using the boss mod callbacks. Test your weak auras right here in Stormwind. You know, quite a powerful dev tool. But that's the new test tool. Which will allow me to do even more testing and make sure mods aren't broken in the future. And this bug will be fixed too. Like, I'm obviously not on Season of Discovery, so I don't need Sunken Temple to show on this realm. And yes, there will be test mods for many things like dungeons and stuff too. It's like, the log exists? A test can exist. It just has to be converted to the test uh, log format. You know, all the useless shit stripped out. 
and uh, just the meaningful data that the test needs. And that's some very complicated emulation too. Like it has to consider all the APIs and emulate them. That's one of the good things about DVM is it has wrappers to everything anyway, which means we can emulate the APIs without altering them. Like we're not fucking with any of Blizzard's actual APIs. We're just, you know, it runs through our wrapper and the wrapper's going, you're in test mode. Okay, then I'll generate some fake returns. Like for example, a lot of mods check the threat in the boss and check if you're tanking the boss. This, the test mode will just, as a basic principle rule, yes to all. So if the API checks your target, uh, is the caster? The answer is yes. Your target's always the caster. If the check is checking if you're the boss's threat target, the answer is yes. You're always the boss's top threat target. So target scans, it's on you. Tank debuff, it's on you. Interrupt, it's your target. Kick cast, etc. The, the yes to all principle is active on test mode. Because otherwise, a lot of functions and mods just wouldn't work right. You know, you wouldn't see any of those warnings without those APIs emulating some kind of return. But anyways, that's all I have to show for this feature right now. It doesn't have a fancy GUI yet. You get the idea. This is our tech test technology. I hope you like it, and I hope you use it, because I'll be using it. Thanks for watching.